And so the answer is yes, nitrogen fertilizer does help the weeds grow. And that is exactly what we want to happen. In this video, I'm gonna explain why. So if you have a professional lawn service and you read the invoice that they leave for you after the application, typically you're gonna see something like this. Now the thing to notice there is that True Green applied a fertilizer and the analysis is 1705. And at the same time, they also applied a weed controller, a weed killer called Escalade 2. Here's the thing, when it comes to fertilizing the lawn, nitrogen drives the bus. Nitrogen turns the lawn green, of course, but more important than that, it stimulates growth. And growth translates to a thicker lawn. And a thicker lawn is the ultimate goal of all lawn programs. So your question is, if nitrogen makes the grass thicker and healthier, well, does it do the same thing for the weeds? Yes, it sure does, and that's really a part of the strategy. We want those weeds to grow and the nitrogen helps, especially early in the season when the days are shorter and the temps are a little bit lower. We want the weeds to grow. We want them vigorous, but why is that? All right, now before I get there, if you're brand new to lawn care and you wanna learn how to take care of your own lawn, or maybe you have True Green or another service and you just wanna better understand what they're applying and why they're applying it, sign up for my training, Yard Care Bootcamp. It's only $7 with code YouTube and it's like having me coach you one-on-one -on -one via video. I teach you how to fertilize the lawn, also why we fertilize the lawn. I teach you how to mix liquid products, how to spray them. I also take time to go into all the different grass types found up north and down south. It's the best training for homeowners anywhere online and it's only $7 with code YouTube. I'll give you a link in the description below. So back to it, why do we want the weeds vigorous and growing? Why, why do we want the nitrogen there? And so there's a key word here that you need to understand, the key word being systemic. All right, so just look at that word. What's the root of it? The answer is system. So think about your body, it's made up of systems. There's the circulatory system, the nervous system, the digestive system, the skeletal system. In full, there are 11 systems that make up the human body and 10 of those are internal. And that's really the key. Now plants, they also have systems, but they're a much more simple organism. They have two systems. They have a root system and a shoot system. Roots are underground and their responsibility is to take in water and nutrients. Shoots, they're the top growth. And in grass plants, that's primarily the grass blades. Their primary job is photosynthesis. So fertilizer or nitrogen is applied to the lawn, it gets into the soil and it enters the plant through the root system and it stimulates the leaves, the grass blades to grow bigger and turn darker green, which encourages the process of photosynthesis. Remember, photosynthesis, that's how plants produce their own food from sunlight. So yes, I've said this a few times already, but I'll say it again, nitrogen drives the bus and nitrogen fuels the systems of the plant. It makes everything operate. It makes things start to move. <laughs> well, guess what? Most of the herbicides we use in lawns, the weed killers, they're formulated to act on the plant systemically. This means that they get inside the plant and they disrupt processes from within. Some herbicides, they get in directly through the leaf tissue, while others, they get into the soil and they're taken in through the roots. Just as they take in the water and nutrients, they're also taking in the herbicide that you sprayed. In our True Green example of Escalade 2, you'll notice that two of the active ingredients there are 2,4-D and dicamba. Now that weed control Escalade 2, it's used mostly in cool season lawns like Kentucky bluegrass, turf type tall fescue, and perennial rye. And so here is a weed control called Image for Southern Lawns. This is available at every Home Depot and Lowe's in the South, and it's primarily used for St. Augustine, Bermuda, Zoysia, Centipede, and Bahia grasses. Now if you look right down here in the corner, let's see if I can zoom in for you. You see that right there? Those are the active ingredients that are inside this product. And you'll see two there that you recognize, 2,4-D, and dicamba. Now, those two active ingredients, they are part of a chemical classification called synthetic auxins, and they kill plants, in this case, the targeted weeds, they kill systemically from the inside out. Let's go into a little bit more about how they work. Now, when sprayed on target plants, in this case, weeds, auxin herbicides, they get in through the roots and the leaves, and then they move or they translocate through the plant's xylem and phloem to areas of new growth. When they get there, they bind with hormone receptors in the plant cells, and this begins to disrupt growth processes. They disrupt the plant's cell division, protein synthesis, and cell wall structure. They're basically killing the plant from within. Now, the outward results that you're gonna see a few days later is yellowing, twisting, and curling. All right, so let's go back to nitrogen fertilizer. How does that actually help the systemic weed control to work better? Well, it's because an actively growing plant will naturally pull the weed control in through its systems much faster so it'll die faster. 
This is why we don't typically spray weeds during super cold weather because they're just not really growing that much. Or maybe in a time of drought when there's no water, they're all curled up holding onto what they have. They're not taking anything in because it's super dry. Weed control doesn't work as well in those situations. In order for the weed control to work, the weed itself has to be actively growing. And of course, moisture is a part of that, but nitrogen just makes it all better and makes it a whole lot faster. So there you go, the herbicide that was applied at the same time as your fertilizer or in close proximity, it's all actually a part of the process. And when True Green does it or when you do it at your house, it all works together for your success. Okay, now a couple things to think about here at the end of this video. Some of you are gonna ask, well, how come the uh, systemic herbicides, they only kill the weeds and not the lawn? And that's where science comes in. The first thing to understand is there are two classifications of weed control. There are pre-emergent weed controls that stop weeds before you see them, hence the term pre-emergent. And then there are post-emergent weed controls, which are the ones we've been talking about in this video. Escalade 2 for cool season lawns and Image for southern lawns for warm season. And so if we talk about just the post-emergent weed controls, there's actually two categories there too. There's non-selective and selective. Non-selective herbicides, they pretty much kill everything. Grasses, broadleaf weeds, they'll even kill your landscape plants and flowers too if you get it on them. They're non-selective, which means they kill everything. They're not selective about what they kill. We do not use these in the lawn. And then there are selective herbicides. Escalade 2 that we mentioned, and this one, Image for Southern Lawns, they kill select plants, but not everything. Now these select plants that they do kill in the case of broadleaf weeds are listed on the label of the product. In fact, every selective herbicide that you buy, it'll list the weeds that it selectively kills and that's the beauty of science. Now here's the thing, when you spray a selective herbicide on your lawn to kill the weeds, it also does hit the grass and in most cases the weed will die, but there's no visual change to the surrounding grass. This is where application rates come into play. The makers and the formulators of these products, what they do is they test them on all kinds of plants and they know exactly how much of the herbicide it takes to kill the weeds, but not the lawn. But if you get crazy and you spray too much or you get a little bit heavy handed and you don't follow the label, then there can be some residual damage to your good turf grass. Now I'm not telling you that to scare you, I'm telling you that so that you'll read the label on the product you buy. Reading the label will give you the knowledge and confidence to mix and apply the product properly so it kills only the target weeds and it doesn't have any negative effect on your turf grass. Now I have a lot more information in the description below for you, videos showing you how to mix and apply the products, blog posts that go into great detail describing the different chemical classes and how they work and why. Subscribe to my channel, leave me comments below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. I hope you have a great season as always. I'll see you in a lawn.